Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am here today going to do a little mask making. I have got this over the page belly band and pocket. I have my little instructions, and we are going to make a bunch of these for upcoming journals. That's that's my plan. So let's say hi and hugs first to Edie, Robin, Sonia, and Sherry. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, so I've, I've pulled some papers. These are papers that I've had forever and a day and I thought I might use. A lot of these were, um, I purchased when my local uh, craft store was going out of business. This is a Timmy, as is this. And then I have this bug one that I want to do for sure because um, this bug one, I, you know, I'm going to make some journals coming up with bugs. Then I found, look at this. I found this. It's called Summer Crush Maja Design. I don't know. Scrapbooking from Sweden, it says. Anyway, it's a little bit on the 60s side. At least these photos were. Then I noticed like this one. And this one with the cars too. So, I don't know. Possibility they could work in um, my Joey Cardmaker's Groovy is what I'm thinking. Okay, we are going to cut. Now, the great thing about these is they will, um, one, one piece of paper for these, for this over the page belly band, this pocket and a couple tags. So not a bad deal, huh? So let's get rid of this, um, branding strip. And we are just going to put our head down and get some of these made. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So the belly band, we want to cut three and a half inches, right? Yes. Okay. So three and a half inches, which this doesn't have a great three and a half, but I just kind of eyeball it. Okay, so this is going to be, I'll kind of talk you through this first one, is going to be this part, okay? So, have that. Then um, the paper on the front, which is this piece here, is going to be four and a half by eight. So... We will just I'm gonna pull that out. So four and a half. I didn't make a, a I didn't make one to practice, so who knows how we'll go here. But okay, so then by eight. So I'm gonna cut this off at eight. Okay. So this is the belly band, this part. Then um, the pocket is going to be the leftover strip. So we're going to do some, um, some scoring on that. And then these, this will turn into a couple little tags, I think. That's what we'll do. Okay. So let's make this one all the way through. And then we'll do some cutting and I don't know. Otherwise, mass making, we would do all the cutting, all the scoring, you know, so that we're not taking our equipment in and out and stuff. But I want you to see, I want you to see how this works. So here is our belly band and we are going to, I'm going to grab my scoreboard. I, I think I need my bigger one. So let's grab that out and set these over a little bit. Okay. So the belly band is the 
three and a half by 12 piece. Okay, so we are going to score it at two. That's gonna be the pocket, two there, and then 10 and a half and one tick. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five eighths, 10 and five eighths. Okay, so there we go there. So this part is gonna go up, this part is gonna go down. So this will be our pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and just punch a little piece out of that so we know that it's gonna be that. Okay, and then, um, and then what I like to do here is I like to do a little bit of a, a little bit of a border or what, I, what do you call this? Edge punch, that's what it is, it's an edge, edge punch. I just think it makes it kind of fun. Okay, and then so that will go over like so, right? Okay. And then this piece is going to go in here, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over so that there's some contrast. And we're going to round the corners. I'm gonna use my half inch, my half inch corner punch on this. Okay, and so this will go down in here like so. And when we glue it, I like to kind of, um, see it's not, it's not gonna go the whole length of the, of the belly band. So I kind of like the idea of, um, you know, just splitting the difference. I'm thinking here, do I want to do it the other way? No, nope, I think I want to do it this way. And so this will be on one side of the page and then this will be on the other. And then we can, we can decorate this a little bit. Like if I have a big bug or something, I'll put that on there. Okay, so that is the belly band. Now let's do, let's do the uh, pocket on the scoreboard. So the pocket, we are going to, let's see, how do I want this? I think I want, oh yeah, I had to remember how I did this. Okay, okay, so I want this to be showing. So I am at the bottom, I'm gonna start the bottom. I'm gonna go one and a half, boom. I'm gonna go four, boom. And I'm gonna go five and a half, boom, chakalaka. Okay, then what we're gonna do is, this is gonna fold up as a pocket, right? Then we're gonna fold it this way, and then we're gonna fold it this way. So you've got a little a little Z fold there at the top, but then that makes one, two pockets. Okay. So there we go there. Let's go ahead and put our little thumb notches in it. Okay. I just kind of eyeball them to line them up. They don't have to be perfect. Okay, so there's that. We'll glue everything in a minute. And then this little piece is left over, right? So it will make a good couple of tags. And this is four and a half. Is that right? I'm having trouble seeing my lines here. Four and a half. So we're gonna go two and a quarter and just zip it right down the middle. 
And then there's our two little tags. So we can put some, um, we can put some coffee dyed paper on the back or whatever we decide at the time. So I'm just gonna real quick like make these into tags. And there we go. Okay, so the tags are ready. Now we just have to um, have to do this. I think on this one, I think I want the corners rounded here. So I'm gonna do that. And then let's, I'll just grab my book so that I don't make a mess on my mat and let's glue. Oh, you know what I do need to do is just on this pocket, I need to distress it. I'll distress the whole thing, but I just need to distress this before it's um, glued down. Okay. Ooh, that paper's gonna look neat. Distress too. Uh, um. Okay, so then we're just going to glue down our pockets like that. And then we're going to glue this part. So uses up a 12 by 12 piece of paper, totally not a bit left okay so we've got those ones glued but then we've got this so we've got to glue this back side as well so it's not flippy flapping around and that one we can go across there too so it just makes a nice little pocket and actually this will pretty well take up a page so I always like that too for if you ever have white that you don't want or whatever. And then our little tickets can, or our little tags can go in there for storage. <laughs> okay, and then this little guy is a little, it was a little bit trickier. What I like to do is line it up on, on my mat and this looks it needs to go that way a little bit looks it looks right as far as in from the sides okay so then I'm gonna glue this just on the two sides because we can up tuck something if we want to so I'm gonna glue that down and then same here we're just gonna glue the sides of the pockets and then we're done. We're done. Now I could, I should have, maybe I can do it real quick. Okay. Oh, whoops. I did that a little bit wrong. You don't want to put glue all the way to the bottom. I'll just let that dry like that. But yeah, so that's it. And then this will slide over your page, like so. Yeah, I have to remember not to glue all the way down here because you don't want that to close. Yep. But isn't that fun? And then there's this side, and so you can tuck thing, something under or whatever. Yeah, so... I first saw these on Clarity, Cra Clarity Crafty Hands on YouTube. She called it a removable belly band. I ca I've always called it an over-the-page belly band. But, yeah, so there you go. Um, there's our ones for the bug journal. Cool. Okay, now let's do mass making of these. So we're going to cut first and see where we get to. I think I'd like this one for an upcoming journal. So I have to de kind of decide where I want what. Um, do I want this side as my belly band or do I want this side? I think I'm going to go with this side. 
So we're going to go three and a half here. Jelly band. And then, and then on the inside, I'm going to do that. And then this is going to be the inside. So this part is going to be um, four and a half. Sorry, I'm my brain is going in many different directions that it shouldn't be, I think. Okay, and then um, we want it by eight, and I'm going to keep this part. Okay. So we've got our two tags here. We might as well just do those at two and a quarter. Okay, so there's our tags. Here's our belly band. We're going to go like that. So there's the belly band. Here's the tags. Here is the um, pocket. So I'm just going to stack them and then we'll score them all at once. How's that? Okay, this was another one I thought I could I could use. Um, I think I'm going to do this as the belly band. Three and a half. Okay, three and a half. And then four and a half by eight. do I want? I think, I think this part. Okay, so four and a half. Gosh, I can't, I wish I could see that better. My lights are just such that it blurs the, blurs the little markers. I do have some marked in, in black. I have done that before. Okay, so there's that part which we can go either way on, okay. Um, here, we'll do two and a quarter for our tags. And we've got our pocket. Okay, so there is another one. Okay, let's see what else did I have here. Ew, I thought that would just be pretty. I don't have anything in mind for it right now, but Let's just get them ready. So, three and a half for the belly band. Four and a half. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to grab my pen. Uh, sorry for the reach. And just going to put a mark on that so I can see it. My goodness, four and a half. Otherwise I'm gonna struggle every single time. Okay, four and a half by eight. By eight. And here are our tags. Two and a quarter. And here's our pocket. Now we're humming. Now we're humming. Okay, this one, this one I just thought was pretty. <laughs> and again, all this paper. So that store closed before I retired and I have been retired seven and a half years. So it's like, it's about time I use the paper, don't you think? Three and a half. Four and a half. And look, I can see it. There's a mark there. <laughs> And eight. The eight I can see for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay, and the tags. These are great tags that they'll be able to be written on on the back easily. And there's the pocket. Okay. This one, I just thought this might be kind of cool. I don't know. And so we're going three and a half here. Three and a half. Four and a half. Eight. And 
found some tags, two and a quarter. And there's the pocket. Okay, this one. Ooh, I love that one. Okay, it does have a direction to it. This is kind of beachy, but it doesn't necessarily need to show, so. Notice I'm back to my old cutter. I just could not do the Tim Holtz one. It was not making me happy. It was, um, it just kept ripping the paper, scrunching it up. Okay, and then this one. shifting on me. Three and a half. Four and a half. Eight. And two and a quarter. And the pocket. Okay. Awesome. All our cutting is done then. Now we're gonna score, but I have to grab my scoreboard. <laughs> I'm like looking around. It's in the same place it's always been, but I'm still looking around. Cheesy peasy. Okay. Not sure the best way to do this, but I'm just gonna go for it here. Maybe I'll do all the pieces of one paper. Um, I think I want this this pocket up. Yes. Okay. So I forget. Um, on the front, two and ten and five eighths. So two and ten and five eighths. Part of me is kind of thinking. I ripped that. That's just old paper is what that is. Oh, you know what? This is, well, I guess they're the same. Never mind. Okay. So there's that. I'm just going to do the one. Um, I'm going to do the belly band one and just be able to do all those and then go to the next thing. Okay. So, uh, this one, want that to show. Let's see, want that to show on the back, so I want to go this way. Okay, two and ten and five eighths. Okay, there's that one. This one. I think I'm going to have that show because that could be written on. That show and then so it's going to go that way. So, okay. I forget every time. Two and ten and five eighths. Okay. Two and ten and five eighths. This one, I want that to show. That's going to fold up. Right. Two and ten and five Now, of course, on these, you can do more um, decorating, too. You know, you don't have to just stick with the pattern and that's it. Okay. Two and 
two and ten and five eighths. Okay, so now we're gonna now we're gonna score the pocket. So the pocket we score at um, one and a half, four, five and a half. One and a half, four, five and a half. One and a half, four, five and a half. One and a half, four, five and a half. Isn't this exciting? <laughs> <laughs> same thing over and over but you know what it's it's awesome to have a bunch of these made up that's the only way I get so many um, journals done at my retreat is just by having things made ahead so I was kind of wishing I had more of these this last retreat actually because I ran out quick just had a couple of them made I think okay so there we go there now we have to decide what's our next thing um, probably our next thing is punching wouldn't you say so let's let's do the punching So this here, so we're going to go here and we're going to do this one. Why are you sticking? Huh, that was weird. Okay, I need to punch that one more time. Probably was at a weird angle. Nope. Okay, so there is that. This we need to hold this up, hold that, and hold that and give it a punch. Okay, all that's punched. Set those over here. I'm throwing, I'm throwing things at myself. Here's the pocket. Let's see, I think I want it this way. It doesn't matter that that's upside down, I will, um, at whatever point, I'll just decorate over the top of it. Okay, there's that. And this one. And go here. And this one. I think what I'm going to do on this one is just punch that round. Not everyone has to have the fancy edge. Yep, that's fine just like that. There's that batch. This one. Let's see. Yep. Okay. If you're making a bunch of the same thing, this mass make is really the way to go, I feel like. Oh no, I wanted to go this way so that this part will show and it could actually be written on if one wanted to. Okay, so this, I think I'm gonna do 
this, I am going to round the big part too, but we'll do that next. Just grab them and do that the next time. Okay, this one. Four more. Four more is all we got. Let's see, this is going to go up. That's a pretty one. I, I really like that paper. Don't use a lot of orange, but I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with a journal to use that on, no doubt. I always have to stop and think what's going to be on the back. I'm going to round the corners on this too because this one's goobered. paper got smooshed in in storage okay well while we're doing this I'll have to tell you the um, our plumber was supposed to come today but we haven't seen him yet as our it's gonna work on our master bathroom shower but I'll tell you what, it is just, I don't know if it's us or what, but getting anybody to come do what we have to get done is seriously like pulling teeth. It's at, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I think this one I want to do the little edge on. Yeah, it's just, it's just been a an exercise in frustration all around. You know, because I, I'm i always griping to you guys about it. But, oh man. Oops. Oh man, I really, I really goobered that. Okay, so Look how bad I punched that. So what I'm gonna do is just put a piece of paper or lace or something over that and I'll be fine. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be just fine. Uh, let's see, where are we at? Okay, got that one. Let's do this one. Like that. That's gonna be a fun one, isn't it? Yeah, so my husband has been waiting around for him all day. And it's, that's so annoying because you got stuff you want to do. And I don't know. I don't know, people. I don't know. Okay, let's do. We want that on the back. We do. Okay. This is gonna have a label or something because it is upside down. So I'll just do this and then we have more room for a label. Okay, almost there, this is the last one. Okay, whoops, this one first. So I'm gonna go here, here, and here. Okay. Do all the punching at once and then we can do all the cleanup at once. How's that? This one, decorating wise, is going to be covered up because I think I want it for my fairy journal. And so this sewing stuff isn't exactly, isn't exactly what I need. Okay, so that's all of that punching. Now, I'm gonna, oh my gosh, I have, I have half circles all over my, all over myself. Okay, so now we are going to take this and just go boom, boom, boom and punch these. Theoretically, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Okay. 
So, there's that one. Oh, here it is. I was like, where is... So, on these, I'll decide, too, do I want to do... To round them. This one, I think so. Okay. So, that one is all ready to be finished up. Let's do this one. I don't know why I'm so uncoordinated with this. Okay. I think I don't mind this one square. Maybe I'll just snip it slightly. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And this one. And I think I'll do this too. So theoretically, we are going to have there's three, four, five, six, seven of these if I can get them all all done. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think this is Crafter's Companion paper is what I think it is. It's called. This is... Um, I just want all the florals, so... So that's good. I can do something contrasting there. Yeah. Okay. Just just thinking out loud, guys. Just thinking out loud. So my family got back from Atlanta. Not easily. They spent all day trying to get home. Um, I guess they tried three times to land in Bozeman. They had a straight flight from Atlanta to Bozeman, but yesterday it snowed, and so they were um, just, they kept trying. I guess they they flew back to, um, ah, they flew back to Salt Lake City and had to wait there for three hours, and then the pilot came and said let's try it again and so they did and they on the third attempt they got home so I felt so bad for my girls having to go to school today I'm gonna do that because we're gonna we're gonna have little bits from the tags too so that's next the tags and then the gluing yeah, so I felt grateful. My daughter said it was really bumpy. She said uh, when they were trying to land in Bozeman, it was just all sorts of bumpy. <laughs> so, gosh, you're always just glad when, glad when they make it okay. Okay. So, next order of business is the tags, and I am just going to eyeball them. They're fine. See? They turn out fine. Okay, so that can go back up there. This one. Get them the right way, Gail. Shooting, shooting little tag goobers everywhere, too. That's all right. There's writing on this, so I want to make sure that's the right way up. Okie dokie. Over here. These are great as far as... Um, as... Uh, Having a good side to write on. Okay. And these. 
these two. I think I, I'm feeling like we're getting something done here, guys. I really am. Okay. I don't know. I think I might go with this side the other way because it would be good to ride on. Okay, that goes there. Let's see. Where's those feathers? These will need to be, they'll need to have some decoration because they're the sewing ones again. That one was a little wonky. Okay, there we go. All righty then, we can get rid of the punch, us, the punch is, and I think the scissors, and let's get all these off of there. All right, now it's, now it's some gluing, isn't it? Okay, let's work on this one. Don't think I'm gonna get any decorating in, but we'll decorate these one day coming up. I just needed to replenish the ephemera a little bit. I also needed a break from making journals you know, making, making six in three days. I was, I was working hard and <laughs> I just need a little, little bit of a break. Okay. Glue. I need glue. Here it is. So yeah, um, just need to do something different and that's okay because then that gives me a chance to make some things for for upcomings I think I'm going to take my bone folder and smush these two. Yeah. Good. Okay, there's that. And it's little tags. Put those in there. Okay. And then let's do the belly band. That's going to be that way. So theoretically, I would go this way. Let's see what it looks like if I go that way. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with that. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Now this time I need to remember not to go all the way down here and just, just do the upper part here. Okay, and same here. Oops. Again, oops, I did it again. Okay. There is that one. I guess I could leave that. I'm going to just do more gluing, aren't I? Okay, there's this set. This set. And see how we do here. See, I should have done a thing where I went around and 
did all of these, but um, but they're all stacked up, and I think it'd be more of a pain than it would be a sign time saver. So let's just do this thing. this but I'm not going to worry about the top because it's going to get it's going to get something over it I'm going to leave that flapping up for now just because I'm going to put something over it and I don't know what yet so okay but this I will glue down Okay. All right. So that one still has a little, a little something to do. So we'll set it over there. Okay. And this guy. I said I wasn't going to put the lid on, didn't I? And I, it's just habit. Pure habit. So, do you have a pa uh, favorite of the paper that I used? Let me know what it is. Yeah, it's going to be fun to do these, I think. I don't even think I have one of these, this particular piece. I don't think I have one in my done ephemera, I think. I have used them all. Okay, there's that one with, there they are. It's like, uh-oh, I lost, lost the tags. Okay, there's that. Let's do this part. And I want that on that side. I want this. Ooh, it hurts my eyes. But if I don't do that, then there will be no contrast. So I just might have to, you know, collage this or do something with it to make it less eye straining. <laughs> there and yeah that should work that. So, what did I do with the rest of it? There it is. Okay. This one. I do love this paper. I do think this is really pretty.
All right. There is that one. All right, and then let's do this. This is really pretty distressed. Yeah, and I'll go back and distress this and, and everything um, on all of them. So, I'm fudging a little towards the uptuck just to make the pocket a little bit deeper on this. But, um, in case you care. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good. Okay. I think I need to add a little. That's a nice thick paper. Okay, so there's that set. Three more, and we'll have it. Are we gonna make it by the end? I think we might. We'll be close, gonna be close. Thanks for hanging out with me today and getting all these done. It's making your friend very happy. And bonus, I've used up some scrapbook paper that has just kind of been languishing on my shelf. I do, I do enjoy making ephemera, I will say. Oh, let's, let's pop these in there. Gonna have some, lots of decorating to do, which will be fun. Okay, let's put that up there. Scoot you. That's pretty good. Well, maybe not. Maybe it needs to go a bit more. Okay. Ah. Don't need to be getting glue where it doesn't need to go, do I? All right, there's that one. I don't know, I maybe should have made it contrasting, but I kind of like it that way. Okay, then this one. And it's Timmy paper, so of course it will look good distressed. I'm gonna have a lot of distressing to do on these, aren't I? It's gonna be taking me a month of Sundays. Okay. Oops.
There we go. All right, last one. Oh my goodness. We are just about there. See, I think this is going to be just fine in my um, fairy journal because this is the colors that are in it, um, kind of the browns and stuff, so I think it's going to work. I do believe. So, um, talking to my daughter today, found out that my granddaughters that played volleyball in Atlanta, they ended up taking ninth place out of 60 teams. So, I thought that was pretty good. Um, you know, I know they would have probably liked to have gone higher, but man, I thought that was pretty darn good, especially because I didn't think about this, but the girls had all their games were at eight o'clock in the morning. Well, that's six o'clock our time. So they were playing <laughs> exhausted. I mean, you know, like they, they were used to being asleep at that time of day. So given that, oh, whoops, I forgot to do this, didn't I? Well, we'll just go around it like that. Um, yeah, so given that too, I thought they did really well. I said, well, they should come to Montana and then, then see how they like that. <laughs> My daughter's like, Mom, it's a lot easier to go to Montana because, you know, they're going later then or whatever I don't know it makes me confused whatever <laughs> you guys we did it we did it we did it I did not I didn't think we'd be able to and we did I'm pretty impressed with us so we have got seven or eight I'm not sure so this one needs some work sadly okay one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight of them done. Woohoo. So, um, you know, I don't know that I'll decorate them any more than they are necessarily right now. I think I'll wait till I see, because I'll be able to tell what journal they'll go in by, you know, by their color scheme. Of course, this one, I know where it's going. Um, and then I can use things like if I was going to use this in a, you know, say 50s kind of looking journal as opposed to a Victorian or whatever, I don't want to get it all decorated up before beforehand. But I'm super excited to have all those made. So thank you so much for helping me. So I hope you all have a grateful day. Be kind always. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.